Well, the town of Golden invited John Martin up for a couple of days to enjoy the last of the snow-free tourist season. And you know, John seeked out several adventures, including this one. It's a trip to the American Mountaineering Center. Well, we're here in downtown Golden, inside the American Mountaineering Center. Uh, the Colorado Mountain Club and the American Alpine Club jointly manage uh, this fantastic museum, which is one of a kind in America, uh, the American Mountaineering Museum. And it's really the only place in North America where you can come to a, a very intimate setting like this and be totally focused on the history of the mountains, not only in Colorado and uh, the United States, but really big mountains around the world, and the history of climbing and how mountaineering evolved over the, the decades and centuries. And speaking of uh, big mountains around the world, we're standing in front of this scale model of Mount Everest, uh, which is one of two in the entire world, uh, one of which being in Boston, the, the larger one here in Golden. Right. Um, when people come here, they kind of get to understand the scope of how large right. Uh, right. the Himalayas are and uh, Mount Everest. Well, yeah, it, it, it's such a beautiful centerpiece to this museum, again, and you can uh, interactively uh, see through different uh, lit routes and so on, just historically what routes came, came to pass over time from the early 1920s up to the uh, 1970s and 80s. And in 1963, America finally made it to the top of Mount Everest. You actually have the, is it the original outfit worn on the ascent? That's right. Yeah, a gentleman named Jim Whitaker was the first American to uh, ascend Mount Everest in 63. And we have his entire outfit, his boots, his ice axe, his pack, all right here in Golden. So if I am planning a weekend here in Golden, I know we have uh, we have drinks here, we have great food here, uh, art. If I were to come here, um, what could I experience as a whole with uh, other, um, my family, myself, whoever? Right. Well, in the museum itself, you can spend really as little or as much time as you want here. We've got uh, this great group of docents, uh, our volunteers, who just know every square inch of this museum and can take a tour group. Uh, whether it be kids or seniors or uh, whatnot, through this museum and, and really spend uh, upwards of a couple hours walking through this museum and, and getting into each interactive piece. Or you can spend just 30 minutes passing through and, and just getting a, a taste of what this museum is all about. But again, it's, it's unique in, in all the United States, the only museum focused just on, on mountains and mountain culture. Um, and so you can, you can really spend some time here and, and relax, but also I think get inspired about the mountains and learn uh, not only about your own backyard, but places you could travel around the world that um, you know, can both inspire you and your family to, to get outdoors in some new ways. Thanks, John. We always want to be inspired, That's right? That's pretty to interesting stuff. Things.